Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present the top 3 accounting softwares on the market. First I'm going to show you the pricing plans, they are actually free. And then I'm going to show you the main features of all of these that they are actually worth it. So let's start. Now the first one is Wave Apps. Wave Apps as you can see accounting zero, invoicing receipts zero. And now here's the question, how do you make money? They are offering their services with payroll payroll services in Canada and the US and then they got payments online for processing so if you want to if someone wants to pay for your invoice they can do it through wave app and then they got some percentage and this is how they make money but everything else is completely for free the next one is a zipbox again zipbox completely for free for starter account but yes in smarter you can track time you can add five team members and you can see so they got like the in email marketing, they are doing this. So uh, they are going to give you the free account with 2000 subscribers, but then you have to pay if you have more. And here's like literally really similar, but, but if you want to like automate reminders, invoice line items, and I don't know, we have smart tagging, you need to go to smart or sophisticated. The next one is uh, accounting and accounting is completely for free. Again, you can do invoicing, the billing and payments completely for free. But again, they are making money on apps. So if you want to add a project, if you want to add, you can like click here on e-commerce and just add something, right? Open car, Shopify, whatever you need to actually pay. So, and you see also payment method here that you can add, but you have to pay, but it's completely for free. Now let's look on how it actually feels to use it. In all of these, you don't have projects. This is what I want to say right in the beginning. You don't have projects and time tracking. So what I recommend is get like, I don't know, Asana, Clockify, Toggle, or some kind of program that you can combine with your accounting software. And so, yeah, then you come here to sales and you can simply click on invoices, right? And I see invoices here. I can go to top right, create invoice. Pretty simple. I add a customer here. Then I just add item here. And I can click save and continue. I just want to show you the process, how it looks. And then I can go to more actions. I can uh, export this PDF. I can approve the draft. I can send it and then get paid. And this is how the invoice looks like. See, really good. Then you got like sales here. You got dashboard here in which you see everything with the cash flow, with the profit and loss, with the payable and owing. Then you get sales, the estimates, recurring invoices, customers, products and services, purchases. You can have bills, receipts. You can add vendors and products and services. So you get like full package here. And then you get accounting that you can see the transaction and you can do also reconciliation. If you want to, and then you get charge of accounts or you can even hire a bookkeeper. Then the next thing you're going to see banking here. And then you're going to see the payroll, right? You can run it if you want to. And then you got a reporting simple, which is simple in all of these programs. Now, the next one is a Zipbox. Zipbox is also really similar. You come here to more and you see here that you got invoices, you got estimates, recurring items, reminders with the same style. When I would click on invoices, I can click on estimates, recurring profiles, and I can create an invoice. And same thing, I would just add the tools here and products and everything. Then you see the expenses here and track time. But again, uh, you won't see track time in the free account only because it's I'm on the free trial right now. Uh, and then also you can go here and you can add see transactions here, have categories, have bills. Any bills yet, I can add a bill. Again, I can choose a vendor, right? I can change the product and voila, I'm good to go. And then you got a reporting system here that you can, it's a little bit more uh, like complex comparing to Wave, but it's really straightforward to actually understand how to use it. And you got Texas invoice, general ledger, everything. And then you got like a reporting system that you can use and account and all your contacts. So Zipbox is also really amazing that you can use. So I recommend checking it out definitely. And I like it.
So let's go to the last one. Accounting, accounting the same style. You are in the dashboard of accounting. You get to see purchases here. You can add bills. You can add simple invoices, revenue customers, but you don't have like recurring here. So there is like difference and you have to buy a little, like a lot of apps to actually have it full. But for the beginning, it's also really okay. So I have the item here. I can add new item and name. Then I have sales here, invoices, revenues, customers, purchases, bills, payments, vendors, and banking account transfer transaction reconciliations and reporting system, which is also simple. It's not complex like comparing to QuickBooks or Xero and others. So yeah, they're all free, really good that you can use for free accounting. I hope this video was helpful. Also, if you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I don't know what else should I show you, but you can test that by yourself. They are completely for free. I just want to show you the features. And definitely just my recommendation, guys. Don't spend so much time on accounting. If you can, pay someone to do it for you. Uh, like, yes, you need to generate invoices by yourself. But other than that, with the taxes and everything, you need to get an accountant and bookkeeper or someone to help you with it. Focus on actually earning money on your business or project or whatever you got. Because I see many times that entrepreneurs are investing 20, 30 time, 20, 30 minutes on creating posts on Facebook, but not how to generate revenue. And the one main goal, like two main goals are provide value to the market. And the second goal is to earn money for your value in the market. And you want to focus on that. You don't want to focus on create Instagram stories or Snapchat, Snap or something like that. Just focus what earns money because I know that plenty of people are saying that you should do everything. You should be everywhere, but it's not going to work out. You don't have much time and you can say, okay, but I can employ someone to do that for me. Okay. But we are going to spend time project, like project management, the person on the things that don't actually earn you money, but they're just like there and it's pointless. I see it everywhere. So I kindly disagree with someone who said that you need to be on Facebook. You need to be on Instagram. So for example, I have multiple YouTube channels and I'm only on YouTube. My target audience is not on Instagram. It's on YouTube and it's in YouTube's ecosystem. You can say that it's limited, but what you can do? It's a world of Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, and like a few others like Twitter, and that's it. You're not going to have and Reddit and Quora. And like, you need to play by the rules of the game. And if the game's changing, you need to adapt. So even when you to poll, I'm just going to add it, adapt and do something else. But the second thing I want to talk to you about is just focus on processes. When you're going to start a business and you want to mm, grow, you need to have like really good system. And no one is doing this. It's just like, okay, what do you do every day? Track your time. What do you do every day? Then when you're going to track your time, what do you do every day? You can reflect what was happening during the day and just be better. And this is what you want to do. It's quite simple. Really it is. But it's like... I know that I'm talking my mind right now. I'm going to even click here. But this, this is the thing that I need people to understand. Like every single day, I know exactly what videos I'm going to do. Every single one of them. I know when, I know how, and I just know it. And I see that people are making random content. They just don't know what to do. But if you get chaos in your life, what do you want to accomplish? You can get randomly lucky, like... A, I know 1% of successful people, you can. But what you can do is to copy those 99%, figure out why they were successful and just adapt to that. But don't copy, just find inspiration in it. And you are a beast. I really believe in that. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.